than 40 years, the F-16 Fighting Falcon has been the backbone of the U.S. Air Force's fighter fleet, but one year before the first F-16 entered service, the team behind its development had developed an improved F-16 known as the F-16XL. Single-seat F-16XL later used by NASA, however, the success of the F-16 with its beautiful design did not necessarily achieve success when the aircraft was overhauled so that it had a delta wing and a body that was 1.42 meters longer. Actually, this design, called the F-16XL, extra-large, also has a number of advantages, for example, the delta wing design, with two leading edge angles 50O and 70O, which sweep to the rear to provide airflow flexibility, thereby improving the aerodynamics of the aircraft. A wider wing twice the wing area on a standard F-16, also provides more room to carry weaponry and half-concealed weapon placement. Likewise, the longer fuselage provides more space while increasing fuel load by 85%. In terms of combat radius, the new design of the F-16XL increased by 48% by relying on internal fuel and increased by 87% when carrying drop tanks. A wider wing twice the wing area on a standard F-16 also provides more room to carry weaponry and half-concealed weapon placement, likewise, the longer fuselage provides more space while increasing fuel load by 85%. In terms of combat radius, the new design of the F-16XL increased by 48% by relying on internal fuel and increased by 87% when carrying drop tanks. High penetration speeds are possible with the new design. Likewise, its maneuverability increases. First flight in 1982 research and development of the F-16XL was funded solely by General Dynamics as the manufacturer. However, the U.S. Air Force, USAF, supported the program by leasing two F-16As engines and an F-16B fuselage. The project, which began in 1981, produced two F-16XL prototypes, one single seat and one tandem seat. A year later, each aircraft made its maiden flight on 3 July 1982 and 29 October 1982. But unfortunately, the prototype that was later contested in the Enhanced Tactical Fighter ETF, in the USAF was lost by the F-15E Strike Eagle, offered by McDonnell Douglas, later merged into Boeing, defeated in the ETF competition in the USAF to replace the F-111 Aardvark. The F-16XL was still in development and briefly bore the F-16E code. Used by NASA until 1999 in subsequent developments, the F-16XL was used by NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center at Edwards Air Force Base in California for a variety of research. In 1999, NASA research using the F-16XL reached its end point, and the two F-16XLS were subsequently stored in NASA's Dryden Aircraft Storage Facility. In 2007, NASA lobbied again Lockheed Martin to re-air the F-16XL with equalization to the USAF's F-16 Block 40. The single-seat F-16XL underwent a re-inspection and taxi test, but in 2009, the project again reached a dead end and was stopped. The two F-16XLS again meditated at Edwards Air Force Base.